Hi everyone, Gray Power 60 here. So another thing I wanted to try, um, these are really cheap envelopes that I got at the dollar store, uh, 75 in a pack. And I tried painting on them a while ago um, and the paint goes right through. I mean, you can still use them and everything, but these ones I put, um, a matte medium on them and of course they're going to wrinkle I think you can see that they're going to wrinkle I kind of let them dry I also put some on these two card these two index cards that I had used my gel uh, print to play around with now I've left all the other ones here because I want to do some decorating and playing and stuff like that I had, and these are a couple of just regular uh, envelopes. So these are the ones that have, and I can tell because they're wrinkled, that have the matte medium on. Now this is totally, I'm playing today. I'm totally playing. I'm going to move my glass board over. I'm not going to use my, um, my gel, um, plate on this. I just want to play around with some uh, paint colors and I want to see how it's going to affect the, it's just an experiment. I just want to see if the matte medium um, will, let's just make sure these are dry enough. I guess I get impatient. I use the heat gun on it. Um, I suppose if I had left it, it wouldn't have been so wrinkled. Anyway, um, so I, what I wanted to try, uh, a couple of things. One is to use um, some paint on here and make some designs. Nothing spectacular. I thought maybe I would do a little stenciling on there. Now, I could use... Um, I could use my uh, Distress Oxides. I could use those and use a brush and perhaps a stencil. Now this one I haven't washed off. I don't really care <laughs> if I do or not. Um, I could definitely take a, a stencil. Sorry for the squeaking. I could easily go on here with just a little brushing just to give it a little bit of interest on here and and there we have some little bubbles on there so I can use different ones and the reason I thought of this was because I also have in my in my stencil package I have these, it was a package of paper stencils, and I don't think, and these are like a chipboard shapes. Let me see where the other ones are. I just wanted to use the paper ones. I think they're all in the back. Here's a paper one, and it was in a package I had bought years ago. Um, here are some more. And, oh, here's the package it came in. So it was a long time ago, like when I first started. And I was going to use them for maybe um, backgrounds in on, on uh, cards and stuff that I was going to be doing. However, I never, <laughs> you know me and cards. I'm not fussy on cards. So I thought I would take out my inks. Now I'm going to use, I'm going to get rid of a box. I should have been a little more organized, but of course I am not. <laughs> just because I just I just thought of doing this, I was going to do some doodling. So I'm bringing out my Tom, uh, Tim Holtz and my blending brushes. Bring those out. Put them on the side, and those are stencils here. So I was just going to do some on here, and I ended up, now is this the one? Is this, 
sorry, I'm getting mixed up. Okay, this one, I, yeah, there's a slate sheen. Okay, these are the two that I put the matte medium on. These ones here are the ones I did the other day. We'll just put those aside for now. These are plain envelopes that have no um, coating on them. I'll put those over here. Here are my blending brushes with the colors that I have so far. Someday maybe I'll get more blending brushes, but for now, um, let's put all of this on the side. And these are the three and the two. So these are the three envelopes left. This is the fourth one and the two um, index cards. And I think even though I, this was a cheese, I don't know if you remember way back, I had bought a package of this um, cheese wrap paper, specially made to put cheese in, wrap it up and put it in the fridge instead of plastic, and apparently it keeps it fresh. Well, I decided to coffee stain it. Um, but I can still use this side instead of, um, what am I looking at? Um, my uh, parchment paper. I could use this, but you know what? I'm thinking that maybe I won't. I think I'll save it because I have another idea for that. So I'll just put that aside. Let me see if I could find... Hold on. Somewhere in my total mess back here. Our, I had moved things around. These are all, uh, this is parchment paper. I tried to tea dye some of them. <laughs> and another piece of parchment paper that I used when I was drying, drying my uh, papers when I was in the kitchen. So, I don't think I'm going to need a piece that big. So, I will just start with this one and grab whenever if I need any, just so that it'll protect my, I mean, I can wash the glass mat. So I use this one with the um, ink. Now, even though, from what I understand, even though you use oxide ink on top of a matte medium, if you put anything wet on it, it will move it, it will run. It, you know, so if I wanted to put another layer of gesso or something on it, that will spread because it will activate because of the moisture it will activate the uh, the ink so so i'm kind of doing things backwards i guess now um i thought i would just play around with some some more patterns here so that one is Stress. I wonder if I could use, let's try, I hope I have a brush for that one. Yes, I do. So this is speckled egg. And I'm just, and this is the brush for it. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's orange. I tried to do the color coding with my brush because I had so many color coatings. Now I want to... There's two butterflies in here, and I really want to... Now, you could tape them down with um, any kind of, you know, tape that you have. You could easily tape these down, use washi tape to tape it down. Um, I just hold it really tight. And there's the two butterflies. I wanted to get in there, but I didn't want them to be too mm, dark, I guess. 
but I think they're going to be dark anyway. And I can lift it here and have, oh no, it's going to be good. It's going to be nice. I'm liking this. Yeah, this is the boring part. It's like watching paint dry. There we go. Now, isn't that cool? So that is one pattern on there. I could also, uh, that's upside down from the lid. I could also just add a little butterfly. Now, I think the reason that they're, uh, it's a little discolored is because there was ink on some of these um, stencils, because I used them as I'm using it now. There we go. And there's a little butterfly on the lip. And there is cool. All right, so that's one done. And like I say, these are the ones that have um, the matte gel. Let's try one without the matte gel. Let's just try so we can do some comparisons here. Um, let's put this one here and we'll continue to use the blue, even though it's going to come out different colors. Um, it's coming out because this has already got, um, it's already got some ink from, and I guess by using this one, it's reactivating the ink. The thing when you're holding it down is you've really got to hold it well because it will move. It will move. So, sorry if I'm not in frame very much, but I do want to continue here. have a look. This is what I like about it. I can lift it up. Okay. So there is one without the mat medium. And let's put this one over here. And I'll just continue using the uh, speckled egg. This one I am not using the border around the edges of this one. And I'll lift it up a little bit more over here. And of course, the harder you press, the darker the color, which is kind of fun. There we go, and there's another one. And perhaps on the back, I will just add a little, I could do this here. I could do it this way, here. Now I don't know how this is gonna turn out with this orangey color here. So let's just go around quickly and find out if, if the orange color will come off. Take a peek, uh, a little bit, not too much. And there we go. So we have the same pattern here as we do on here. And there is a little bit of green coming off because of the, um, because of the stencil. So what other ones do I have? I've got these ones. I've only used this one once. I haven't used the other one at all. And this is apparently um, a chipboard type. It's more sturdy than the other one. So let's grab 
another one here. And like I say, because of that, let's not use the blue. Let's go for something totally different. Um, how about this dark green? Why not? And I've got a brush for that. All right, now some of this brown might come out. And I'm wondering if I should have, maybe I'll put it there. I just want it to have the same amount of space on either side. I don't know why. That's just the way we're doing it. Now this one is a little thicker, so it's harder to get into um, the cracks because it is a chipboard material. Now this would be great for textured paint, um, I think. Let's see if I lift it up. Hmm. But I really have to get into um, the cracks because it's thicker than the paper one. So this is all just having a little fun. Oop. I got a sneeze. Ah, excuse me. Probably edit that part out. <laughs> so I think in order to get, like I say, I've only used this one once before. Um, I think because I found it too thick and it would, like I say, it would be great with, with textured paste. I wonder if I could do that on the hair, textured paste. Let's take that off. That's not too, too bad, but <clears throat> I think I prefer the paper one because it is thinner. Now I could have a border on it or not. Oops, squeaky time. As I say with the paper one, you can get into the grooves, into the little, into the little pieces a little bit easier than the um, chipboard one because the chipboard one is more Thicker. Thicker, oops. That is an awful squeak. I am so sorry. I'm trying to hold everything down with one hand. Let's see how that's going to look. That's getting good. That's getting better. Kind of like to have the two designs on there. Kind of fun. And I always go in a circular motion, back and forth, up and down. I do a little bit of everything. Oh, I've just moved the paper. So I think that'll be it. And I think for the top here, I am going to add a little bit of decor on, what do we call that? The flap. The flap, the flap. The flap, flap, flap. Now, before I go any further, I think that's fine. That is just fine. So this is uh, one with the uh, matte medium. These are all the wrinkled ones. So that's those. Um, shall we do one more? Maybe with just big flowers. Maybe we can make them. Oh, what color shall we make them? Shall we go with festive berries? Or shall we go with squeezed lemonade? Hmm. What an interesting dilemma. 
Now, if I put it like this, then I won't have a border. Oh, let's go with yellow. We can't, can't go wrong with yellow. The only thing is, is I think I, I mixed my yellow in error with a little bit of green you can see on here. Well, let's, let's see. Now, what I can do in the editing portion is to um, fast forward. See how that's going, good. I think taping it down probably will keep it a little more firm, but I don't need perfection here. I just want to have a little bit of fun. And get these flowers on here. So because I'm going to do the whole thing, I think I will speed this up. we go oh that is lovely that is lovely and I think we'll put a little bit I think of this side on here we go oh that is lovely and that's a nice yellow pleased with that and for the last one that is covered let's try something I haven't tried uh, although this book has so many of the same the flowers. Yeah, I think that's all I've got left in there. Oh my goodness. So I've just got those left. I'm going to keep them. I'm not going to use them. Uh, I think perhaps we'll go back to this one and perhaps we will use the red. How's that? We can't go wrong with red so we will now again I am not going to put a border on here and we'll just start to go around Ooh, that was a big mistake. I might have to do the same over here. Make a little blunder because as you see, I put a little bit too much on this side. And I think I will do the same over here and the same in this corner, just to give it the same. There we go. So I've darkened each of the corners because I kind of made a little bit of a blunder. That's really pretty. 
And I could do this on here with a little bit Sorry, sorry. A little bit on here. There we go. All right, so that's another one done. And now I think these are the two um, index cards. So in order for this one to stand out with some sort of, now I've also got this one that I've never used. I wonder, I wonder how that will look if, Instead of tech, I don't want to use textured paint today. That's green, blue, green. Could be the oxide. Could use yellow again or orange. How about an orange? Let's let's see how that. I mean, we're playing here. Definitely playing. We're definitely getting some. Um, ideas here about how to decorate some of these um, cards and postcards and definitely different um, envelopes. And as I said, the, this one here, because it is thicker, um, I have to put a little bit more pressure to um, get underneath and inside each of the little curries. Now, I don't want to touch that, and I moved it already. I moved it already. Well, let's see if it makes any difference on this side. I'm going to Bring it down and try and, there we go, as best I can. Okay, let's see how that, now that was very subtle um, with the orange on there. So now we can put that aside and get it ready for either doodling, um, a focal point, something like that. And this is the last one, the last one. Again, I could use those stencils or I could use the bubbles. Um, what do you think? I've got so many of these. I could use the butterfly. Perhaps put a butterfly in the corner. What color shall our butterfly be? How about blue? How about a nice bright blue? I have no idea. It might turn purple, but let's see if we can get, let's see how that's going to, hmm, definitely needs to be surrounded by florals or something to make it stand out Definitely not standing out at all. That is rather, whoops, rather interesting. Yeah, so all we're getting is kind of a ghost of it there. And if that's the case, I think I'm going to need to 
ghost it in more than one spot just to kind of give it continuity. So we've got one here and we've got one there and perhaps one in the middle. Oops. I hope that didn't affect it at all. Paper is fragile, so I've got to. And there we have three butterflies. I hope you can see that. It's just to add another dimension, another layer. I'm terrible. Another layer to my cards. So now I've got another layer to these and I've been playing with these. These I will put away for now because I don't need to go, <coughs> excuse me, any further with that. Um, these are all backgrounds that I did using index cards four by six and using um, glossy uh, photo mat four by six. And they will definitely need more work, but sorry about my arm, but for now, we've got these two. I can put away my stencils and I'm wondering if they'll fit. No, they won't fit. They won't fit in there, but I could put them side to side, put them back where they belong. Now, to decide how we want to decorate these, that's the other thing, you know. Um, we do a lot of layering in, in uh, different artistic ways. We do a lot of layering. We could use uh, washi tape. I have got a big, huge container of washi tape. This is old washi tape, so I will have to use, <laughs> um, definitely use, oh my goodness, somebody upstairs dropped something. Okay. I've got two oranges here. This one. Let us, I could cover the white part here with this orange and perhaps go all the way around But as I said, I will definitely have to um, glue it down with something. I'm just cutting them right now. You know that washi tape always comes off. And uh, needs to be reinforced. Funny how I start a sentence and then I, I get doing stuff and I forget what I'm saying. Or it comes out 10 minutes later. Okay. So, as I said, it's not very sticky. So I'm going to have to glue these pieces down as you can see how easily it comes off so easily that it needs to be glued down so i'm going to lift that one up a little bit that's the white part all right this is the shorter one okay Stick to my fingers. Okay. Thank you. And 
definitely put you on here as close to the edge as I can. Now, I would love to have mitered the corners, but unfortunately, that is not going to happen. Here is the other piece that decided to curl on me. There we go. Hope you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> Sorry, I am. Uh, sometimes I zoom in and zoom out and don't realize that uh, that I'm not in frame or that I zoom out so much you can't see what I'm doing. This is getting very annoying, this last little piece. Not the last piece, but the washi tape end here. And I definitely want to make sure Now I'm going to have to lift. Yes, tweezers would be better. There we go. It's funny how sometimes washi tape can give you such a hard time and other times it, it just goes on smoothly, no problems. I think it has something to do with the camera. Maybe it's shy. What do you think? Do you think it's shy with the camera and doesn't want to be uh, photographed? I wonder. I'm liking this. Um, now I have to lift you up because you are not glued down. All right. Uh, I've succumbed. I need, I need to use my little tweezers to lift you up. Here we go. And let's bolt you down. And again, this one needs to be, this is the one that was covering the white. So it's not like I'm ripping off the paper. Okay, come on there, cutie pie. Let's cooperate. Let's cooperate. I don't know a song for that. Unfortunately, I don't know a song for that. All right, let's get you on the edge of my card. Gosh, I hope. Sorry, guys. I'm just hoping you can see what I'm doing. Try and move it over a little bit. Come on. There we go. Okay. I'm probably going to get all kinds of stuff behind it, especially glue, because I've just used this as my glue. Let me see if I can wipe it off with my wet and wipe it off so that it's not wet. Again, it's curling because everything is wet. And now I'm going to snip and snip and snip the corners off. Oops, I really made a, I am the worst for straight cutting. 
terribly bad. There we go. And this will have to dry. It's still damp. So anyway, I like that. So we've got this one ready for, let's make sure we got all the corners down. Oh, I'm going to wait until it dries because it's a little off when I put, when I put the uh, tape on there. It's it just went over the edge slightly here. So I will wait till it dries before I trim that off. But there we go, there are two more. Both have to be dried up a little bit. Again, I put these on upside down. I wanted that line at the top. I'm gonna to have to back these because they're very, yeah. So, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed my little fun fest of stenciling. These are envelopes that I'm going to be uh, decorating later on. Is that all of them? No, it isn't. Um, that I'm going to decorate later on and um, add some other things to it. But it's just nice to kind of mass make things and have them sitting in your stash. And look at how cute these little flaps are. I rather like that. Yeah. Okay, so these will go into my envelope stash where I can uh, decorate them and do whatever. And these two, as soon as they are dry, I am going to go to the next. I know I should be doing it all in one, but I'm just finding that if they're too wet or too moist, they don't seem to, um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. So that was my next step. I think I'm going to be doing some uh, black stamping on here with perhaps numbers and words and things like that and have a little more fun. I could use some washi tape on here as we have some over here and here. Um, do I have any with pink and blue? Well, I have these flowers that have got green in it. Uh, these, these, is, this is so old. This is so terribly old. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm looking through here to see what I have. Um, trying to come up with, you know, a color. What about this one here? Or is it too, too matchy-matchy, I think? Um, I don't know. How does this look? Perhaps. Um... Perhaps in the middle, separating. I'm. It's got a little bit of blue in it. It's got the pink. Oh, what the heck. I know I don't really like it. <laughs> I know I don't really like it. But. Uh, let's. Perhaps just down the sides. doesn't always have to go all the way around, does it? That would be interesting, wouldn't it? Oh, look at this. I cut the corner. Maybe I'll have to cut all of the corners. Okay. Now, this one is a little more sticky, and I did not press it down very much. So... Yeah. 
use the soup there. I cut that corner off. So now I'm going to have to cut off all the corners. Why is it when you're filming you're all thumbs and things aren't working out quite the way you want it to? And other times, things are just beautiful. Now, I think this is the right way. And I think that will go on there. Now let's hope this comes off fairly well. It does want to stick. Might be one of the newer. I have some that are like 10 years old. And this one's pretty sticky. And again, we are going to put it right on the edge. Let's pull that up a little bit. Pull that down. I think I'm going to be cutting the corners on this one once once these dry because I already cut the corner here one of the other things is that this is very flimsy um, because it is a very thin I'm gonna have to put something on the back I think I'll probably get some cardstock and um, and cut them. Okay, so I made a total mess of these two, but they're ready for, once they're dry, they'll be ready for uh, final decorating. And these ones here, I think I'm gonna be doing some stamping on these. That's a plain one, that doesn't belong there. Yeah. And uh, it'll be interesting to see how to finish these ones, the uh, photo mat ones. It's always easy to finish these card, these index cards. It's always, but the photo mat ones, uh, yeah, that's going to be a challenge for me. All right, guys, that's it for me for today. I got to let these dry. It's going to take a while. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you again next time. Bye for now. I'm just including this uh, last bit onto my video because uh, everything was so far away you didn't get a chance to see the coloring and how the envelopes turned out. So I thought I would just show those with you, for you, <laughs> with you, for you. You know what I mean. So here's the green one with the other flap. This was the red one that we used with the other flap. And this was, I think, the first one that I did with the butterflies on this side. And you could see in some areas where the uh, ink from the, um, that was originally on the stencil, you can kind of see how it kind of blended out uh, on these here. And then of course I added the little butterfly on the back. And then this one here with this one on the back. And again, because there was brown with the green, um, you can see different shades of that, which I don't mind. It's kind of like a ombre kind of thing. And then this was the, and that's where I cut it by mistake. So there is the washi tape on that one. And that was the washi tape on this one. I don't know which way will be up, probably this way, I guess. Um, so I just have to get a, a focal point, some numbers, some maybe, um, some tags or whatever and uh, maybe I'll fix the corners on these obviously they need to be 
trimmed. I have to wait until they dry on there. So I could almost make this into a four by six tag by trimming off the other corner, but I'm gonna need to have that proper. Anyway, I just wanted to add this to my to my video to share with you the stenciling. I was gonna do some painting, but uh, I would have to bring all my paints out and I would have to do that all over again. And, uh, but I do wanna try textured paint with um, some of these things and maybe even with these um, photo mat ones. So I'm not sure, but anyway, thanks for joining me and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.